Asthma is a chronic lung condition characterized by ongoing inflammation of the airways or bronchial tubes. Asthma is the most common childhood chronic disease and is a leading cause of missed school days. Asthma symptoms can range from mild to severe and can vary from episode to episode. Asthma can be brought on by many triggers such as exercise, colds and illness, allergies, weather changes, irritants including pollution, and emotional changes. It is important to be aware of the triggers for each individual child identified with asthma and whenever possible, avoid these triggers. It is important that the following asthma symptoms be treated according to the child's individualized health care plan. Continual coughing, shortness of breath, rapid and difficult breathing, tightness in the chest and wheezing. The care plan is your authorization from the child's health care provider and parent to treat the symptoms you are observing. Current state law allows children to self-carry their own inhaled asthma medications with the approval of the child's parent, health care provider, and the school nurse. Even though these children will be responsible for administering their own inhaled medication, it is important for staff to know that these children have asthma and are carrying their own medication. Further, it is recommended that an extra inhaler be kept at school in case the staff needs to administer the medication to the child. While there is no cure for asthma and children do not outgrow asthma, this chronic disease is controllable with effective use of asthma medications. Here are some commonly used medications and treatments for those with asthma. Bronchodilators are used for quick relief. This medication is a short-acting medication and acts quickly to open constricted airways and relaxing smooth bronchial muscles. Improvement is usually seen within 5 to 10 minutes. Inhaled steroids are used to reduce inflammation and may be taken daily to control or prevent persistent asthma symptoms. Long-acting bronchodilators relax muscles that tighten around airways and helps the inhaled steroids work more effectively. These medications do not provide quick relief. The medication most often given in school and child care is the short-acting bronchodilator, albuterol. This medication is delivered by a metered dose inhaler. This device delivers medication in a fine mist to the lungs. Correct use of inhalers is important and may be a problem for many children. They often find it hard to coordinate the quick puff from the inhaler and breathing the medication deep into their lungs. For this reason, many children use their inhaler with what is called a spacer or holding chamber. To use the inhaler with a spacer, remove the cap from the canister and shake it well. The new HFA inhalers may require priming. If this particular inhaler has not been used for two weeks, pump three to four times into the air away from your face. Priming instructions for various inhalers may differ. Check packaging instructions or contact your school nurse or child care nurse consultant for specific instructions. Put the spacer on the mouthpiece of the inhaler. Have the child stand or sit up straight and breathe out completely. With the mouth around the spacer, press the canister and instruct the child to breathe in deeply and evenly. This should take about 3 to 5 seconds. If possible, hold breath for 10 seconds and then breathe out gently. To ensure that all the medication was inhaled, have the child take a second breath through the spacer. Have the child wait at least a minute before taking the second puff if one is ordered. If using inhaled steroids, the child should rinse mouth with water after use. Some health care providers prefer that a child use an inhaler without a spacer. Follow the instructions from the health care provider on administration technique. A nebulizer is another way to deliver inhaled medications and may be prescribed for some children who have asthma or are recovering from a respiratory illness. Again, the quick relief short-acting bronchodilator, albuterol, is the medication most commonly used with a nebulizer. To use the nebulizer, begin with clean hands, pour the medication into the cup. It may have to be measured and mixed with saline, or it may come pre-measured and ready to use. Connect one end of the tubing to the compressor and the other end to the bottom of the nebulizer cup. Turn on the compressor and check that mist is coming out of the mouthpiece. Depending on the type of nebulizer, the child may use a mask or a mouthpiece. Stay with the child, ensuring that all the medication is delivered. This usually takes about 5 to 15 minutes. After each use, rinse the mouthpiece and nebulizer cup with tap water and allow them to air dry. 
All inhaled medications given to children must be documented on a medication log. Children with asthma take inhaled medication on a prescribed schedule to control their symptoms, but they may also need to have immediate access to their medications. Instructions for when to use these medications should be provided in an individualized care plan. School or center-based child care programs should consult the school nurse or child care health consultant if there are any questions concerning the care of children with asthma. For the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, the Maternal and Child Health Bureau, the Colorado Department of Education, and Qualistar Early Learning, I'm Anita Lopez. Thank you for watching.